Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jaser. In this video, I'm going to solve 144 on BFE.dev. It's serialized and deserialized data types not supported in JSON. Okay, obviously, uh, JSON parse and distrangeify are, unable, are unable to handle data types that are not supported in JSON, such as big int. Mm, this uh, triggers an error. Okay. Also, undefined is ignore in prop object properties or change to null. This is null, this will be ignored. Mm -hmm. Not a number or infinity are also treated as null. Yeah, that's because JSON does only support a few data types. For more information, please refer to the MDN. But sometimes we might want to be able to super serialize these data types. Mm -hmm. It's pretty useful when we can uh, differentiate undefined uh, and uh, null. Now, please implement a function to serialize and deserialize following data types. Primitives, symbol is excluded. Uh -huh. um, object literals, array. Object literals and arrays are consistent of primitives and might be nested. Okay. Code flow is expected to work. Something like this. Like this is big N, null undefined, not number. We should return this. Mm -hmm. Obviously, symbol you cannot you cannot uh, create a new symbol which is the same as the uh, previous symbol, right? So yeah, it's impossible to 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 handle a symbol here. Okay, we stringify it, par parse it, and we can get undefined not a number. Okay, you can use JSON stringify and parse in a code to write your own. Hmm. Okay, obviously we cannot use the JSON stringifier or parse uh, uh, directly, right? Because the date values will be ignored, and we cannot, we cannot, uh, we cannot turn them, turn them, uh, we cannot uh, uh, restore the data. Okay, let's begin. So this is the TypeScript. Okay, TypeScript is great. Serializable primitives. This is. This is it without the symbol and serializable will be uh, this is object literal or array or just the data types. Okay, we have a need to write the stringify and then parse. Actually, stringify and JSON stringify and JSON, JSON parse has this uh, replacer, uh, replacer function which will allow us to uh, allow us to uh, process the da data. Uh, before the uh, review serialization. So we could use that replacer when we say we found not a number, we just uh, translate it into another format, like say um, a string, use a N, capital, a big N, small a, big N. Yeah, and do that, and when we are par parse it back, we check if it is a string, a string of N, A, N, and uh, if it is, we return. Uh, uh, return the n not a number but uh, yeah but but uh, we cannot differentiate the real if we have a string of not a number we cannot tell the difference between if we want this as a string or want it as not a number right uh, that that's a little complicated so we cannot just uh, just uh, do that for uh, these specific data types. We need to do it for all the data types. So I would say we would, uh, for stringify, we would, okay, uh, transform all, all data types to something like type and value, right? Uh, this is a string and value would be any and then use JSON stringify. So in this step, we will remove all those, not, not remove, but transform all the data types that are not supported in JSON. And here uh, in the parse, we will first the JSON parse and then transform form back. Yeah, this is it. So I think I need to create a wrap function right and then we I, I will create a uh, unwrap function 
So would be here would be I will return unwrap. Okay, I'll create a type here. So we wrap, um, wrap it, and then JSON stringify. So I will create a. Okay, data would be um serializable primitives or serializable. Yeah, this is serializable. Uh, yeah, and then I will return something called uh it should be um what should be the type yeah okay let's define the type it's okay so the first would be let's name it uh, as uh um, undefined oh let's, let's use a okay wrap scheme mm. okay we just use a type okay uh, your data type and data type undefined it will be type oh, okay yeah type this is undefined we use this um, property called uh, type to uh, to uh, take advantage of the discriminate discriminating uh, union type uh, so value it would be undefined right and we use the string here so when we meet the data type undefined and uh, we would uh, we get the type of undefined so we could return the undefined value not the string string one and by this we could differentiate those data types okay and then data type null as uh, null value would be null. Okay, and then data type number type number value value should be number or string number. We have big end. Hmm. We just use the uh, okay string okay value oh i'm sorry value number value value should be string yeah type or oh, number we could if we could use the number okay and then string begin boolean um string data type String type string value string type data type um, big int big int type big int value string with the uh, without the n mm -hmm. boolean okay type data type uh, boolean type boolean value boolean okay the next one is uh, the object literal okay let's say data type object later <sighs> type let's say object later it should be um, yeah it says the serializable will be a string we could just use this right oh we could use Okay, we just uh we could just uh create a new new one base new type based on this one. Okay, this is the I would say the data tap a wrapper. Uh, mm, data type wrapper. Okay, the index should be itself or uh the array of it or the uh 
okay this could be a minute or the type data type primitives equals okay data type null data type number data type string data type big int uh, this format hmm no <laughs> wait a minute some error okay return this return uh-huh I think there will be oh no format here okay um number data type string data type big end and data type boolean okay and then data type primitives data type wrapper primitives yeah so we have this uh uh, wrapper data type so we could return this and unwrap hmm? okay return okay and unwrap when unwrap we would get uh, this is the data okay we could just say wrapper and data and return the okay serializable Okay, uh, return this. Great, so this is the type for our function. Let's write it. Okay, when we stringify, we would do what? We would just do return wrap. Oh, okay, no. JSON, stringify, we first wrap it, right? Yeah. And then when we parse, we would say first we would do JSON. Uh, parse it and then unwrap. So unwrap a JSON parse data. Great. Okay, when we wrap it, when we are wrapping wrapping the data, uh, how should we do it? Um, oh no, I, I made a mistake for this one. it's an op it's an object so oh i made a mistake this should not be this one still i need to type data type object literal type object literal this is uh, the value the value would be uh, a record a string to um, to the data type wrapper, and this should be yeah. And then also we have a data type literal, not but array type. We just use array here value would be um, the data wrapper array so this is array this is right so we have uh, we could you should be could be a object literal or array not object array data type array I need to add the wrapper stuff. Uh. Mm. Okay, anyway, I have a problem about naming, but it doesn't matter here. Okay, let's skip it. So when we are wrapping the uh, data, we check the type of each data and we just uh, return the data types, okay? So, 
Let's do it. Um, uh, let's switch the type of data. Mm, this is not cool. Let's say object uh, prototype to string call. Okay, let's remove it. Const tag call data. Switch tag case. This should be uh, um, data type. We could just, mm. yeah, we could you just to use type of? Okay, type of type. Switch type. Yeah, we have this one, right? But we have symbol here. Mm. Anyway. <laughs> Okay, for null we have this object actually. Huh. Okay, I have to keep it to this one. Okay, if it is object, let's say undefined. Hmm, this is object undefined. Walk type of. Oh, no, 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 no. We uh. No, 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 here. Undefined. I think it should be capitalized, right? Undefined. Object. Oh, object undefined. Okay. Small O, big undefined. Okay, if, if this is the data type, we will return what? We will return type. Uh, this is undefined. And the value, it's undefined. Actually, this value doesn't matter. But uh, hmm? x ending return. Mm, okay, of course. Uh, case default. We just to throw new error. Unsupported. Su supported data type. Hmm. What's the problem here? Type is not assignable to data wrapper. Type undefined, value undefined. Ah, is a typo here. Hmm. This is a part. This is the part of JavaScript. Okay. And then we have what object? Um, null number string. Okay. Null return type null. Value okay, no case object string return type S should be a string and the value should be the value should be data itself because it's a uh, it's a string. Oh, data is hmm. <laughs> Um, yeah, so this is the part where type of is better. Okay, I'll just to use the type of here. I could use as, but uh, not cool. Uh, type of data switch type if it is undefined. This is type of this is object actually we will move it here if it is string we return the data mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. type of and we have this type object huh. switch type switch type of data oh okay yeah I see 
and then we have this number return type number and the value should be data itself and we say the uh, boolean so return the type boolean value should be data itself and uh, there's another one called the big end okay case big end here we return type big end value should be data to string to string if there is a n i'm not sure let's do it let's see so log one to string one so there's no n because if uh, here without n hmm. okay uh the, the object and then if data is null we return null there's no more right and then this so uh, this is the uh if it is array if uh array this is a rough array is array we need to maybe uh need detailed uh if class here but uh, the requirements doesn't doesn't include that so we just uh, array if as array now the data it should be array right mm, yeah okay now it's array what we do so for array we would transform form um we would transform the uh the data to type this array this is, this is it the array okay type array the value value would be array a new array which every element will be wrapped so data map wrap the wrap actually accept one element so let's save okay yeah that's it mm, for wrap maybe there is a infinity loop problem i think we should say add a new one say visit it new set mm. uh-huh for array when we wrap the array i say okay if it's null okay we need we need it, it's array and we would check if the visited has data if it is we throw new error uh circular reference found hmm. if not we visited add data and then wrap okay so item we wrapped uh, the item with a new visited. Um, great. Actually, this visited. If we keep the uh, the reference, it would be a, a very deep lexical scope, right? It would keep reference of the old visited. So actually, I think we should, I need a new set. New one. It will be better. By this, I could cut it down. Hmm. Okay. So this is a array. And for the others, I would say it is a... Um, for the default, okay. I cannot tell the difference between the objects or not. Right? Okay, for the type of, there's a function, so we throw here, we could handle the default treats as objects, object literal, okay, it's a simple, it's a object with the string as the um, property name, name, so we would uh, get the keys and map the keys to new object. 
Great. So if we first check if visited has this data, <clears throat> we throw circular reference. OK, so this actually could be moved up here. And we add it. Okay, there's no need for this one. Okay, for we get the keys, object keys, uh, data. For okay, keys out just to reduce for result and for each key, what we do. Uh, this is a new op, the result. Hmm. I would return the result. Okay, and then I will return it. The type. Uh, this type will be object literal. The value is not here, right? Hmm, yeah. Value would be um, this what this is string reduce return the result. Hmm. I think I need to say this is the uh, uh, data wrapper. Wait a minute for this one. This value record. Okay, this one. Yeah. Okay, I should not use this as we define here. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so for this result, we would result set the key to what? To uh, get the uh, to, so wrap um, the data key was visited. I would say new set visited. Implicit has any because the string cannot be used to index the this. Uh huh. Yeah, that's not bit cool. Hmm. As Okay, and so the, when it is mapped, this is reduced, right? Like get the key and set the key to wrap them up, wrap them, wrap them up, and then I will return the type to object literal, and the value should be this value. So this is it, and uh, yeah, I've done the wrap. Let's tr let's try to log something wrap. Let's say A3. Let's see what we get. We get this object literal. Okay, the value is A. Uh huh. A type is array. Uh huh. And the value is array a number three. Wow, cool. I think we might get it right. Okay, let's see. Undefined. Oh, not a number, right? Undefined. We get this undefined. Three, number three, type undefined, value undefined. Okay, we forgot to handle the the uh, okay the the not a number and infinity. Okay, so value here. Actually, we couldn't use the uh, number here now. We should use the string to support not a number. And the infinity. So type here will be a uh, string. Okay. We could have the not a number. Let's see what happened. We get array, three items. Mm -hmm. Value is three items. 
a number three, undefined, undefined, number, not a number. Also, we could get the null, right? Yeah, pretty cool. And then, so this is it. And uh, we now need to unwrap it. This will be like uh, super simple. We will do the same. We switch uh, the wrapper type. We have uh, the uh, the uh, po several possibilities. First one is undefined, right? If it is undefined, we will just return the undefined. Actually, the value doesn't matter at actually, but I would say keep it consistent. So I keep the value there. Okay, case null. If it is null, we just return what? Return null, right? Case number, in, 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 uh, including the another number, we just return. We wrap wrap them up. So wrap the wrapper the data value. Mm -hmm. Case what? Okay, default. I think you should. We need to uh, assert never here. Uh, no, there's no throw error error unexpected data. Okay, and uh, there's a string. Return the wrapper value case big int return big int wrapper dot value mm -hmm. big int okay console log big int three it is does this work big int okay it's work it's working Okay, and then case uh, boolean return wrapper dot value, and then we have this uh, object label. Why there is no suggestion here? Hmm. Uh, yeah. Oh, there's a warning. Okay. Okay, and we have this array. Let's first handle the array. If there's array, we would do, uh, it's very simple. We would say wrapper value, we map the item and we would unwrap, right? The item. So we use unwrap. Oh, I need to return here. Yeah, for object literal, uh, again, we need to traverse through each key. Uh, okay, the object literal will be, uh, we have the value is object, and for each key, it has a new, new uh, data type. So I would do the reversing of this logic here. So we get the keys, get the object uh, wrapper dot uh, value, and the value would be keys reduce mm -hmm. result key. The key is unwrap the data key. It's not data anymore. It should be a wrapper value, and uh, I would return. Just to return the value, I think I would return it, and it should be result key. It should be the uh, serializable as serializable. No, it should be as the serializable serializable. This, yeah. Uh huh. As Huh? Here. 
Actually, this should be record stream serializable. Okay, this is it. Let's uh, lock a three on define. Let's just try this simple one. We wrap it and unwrap it. Yeah, a three object literal. Mm -hmm. Okay, three object literal. Mm -hmm. There's something wrong here. When we wrap it up. Uh -huh. Oh, this should be unwrap here. Okay, array two three on the front. Look, it uh, works perfectly. We add null, not a number. That's all oh, working good, right? Undefined null. Even there's a nested array, like say B, a C, and uh, yeah, it's working. So I'll submit it. Great, yeah, one pass, pretty cool. And this problem is pretty interesting. Uh, I post it and uh, hope it helps. See you next time. Bye bye.